Everything you see in here is either haunted, cursed, or has been used in some kind of ritualistic practice. What was fascinating about this from the beginning, and I remember James selling it to us, um, James Wan, that is, um, it, it was you, as dark as you get with these stories, there was going to be a real freedom in wanting to show the light and the love. And that's something that I think we took and ran with because we have fun doing this and we have fun playing with each other. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I think my love and obsession for creepy dolls <laughs> is how uh, it led me to the Warrens, and it's actually through Annabelle and you know me stumbling across the story of Annabelle that led me to dig deeper into who the Warrens were. How could you not tell me you're babysitting for the Warrens tonight? Mwah. And we'll be back early tomorrow morning. Have fun. Mary Ellen comes over to babysit, which she's done plenty of times for the Warrens. And this time, though, Daniela, her best friend, decides she wants to come and sneak her way over and go explore the artifact room and all the amazing things that the Warrens have at their house. What'd you do to get in there? Which, of course, is not the best thing to happen for anyone. And one of the things that she does do is she takes out Annabelle. And that is kind of the start of this mad house that happens over the course of 24 hours and it's sort of up to the three of us to figure out how to get everything back in order especially because ed and lorraine are not there with us it's kind of in our hands to figure it out what did you do i let her out who annabelle i'm sorry one thing that i think makes the annabelle doll really terrifying too is that the idea that she could be in any little girl's room, you know, putting a putting a demon in a in a spot of vulnerability in someone's life, especially a child's, is absolutely terrifying. That's why I was afraid of my doll growing up. It's taking an innocent thing and kind of corrupting it. And so I think that's one thing that really makes her absolutely horrifying. Demon! Patrick and Vera, who've met the real Ed and Lorraine, they've done so much and they've made these movies so amazing. So playing Judy Warren, I have a lot to, of responsibility because I really want to live up to how great all the other movies have been. Good job. Yeah. You should feel great. I'm really proud of that. You should be proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, you should. The fact is that the real life Judy was completely, she was, Paralyzed with it. fear. No, absolutely. She still hates it. You know, she was terrorized, um, knowing that that these these items were um, below her. And I, I think that I think you know I always, from a parental standpoint, imagine Ed and Lorraine how what a ch the challenge it was for them to raise a child to get comfortable with that fear. Right. Can you imagine? Something is happening inside your house, and we're not really sure what to do. Can I speak to Annabelle? I'm sorry? You need to give her a soul, dear. She wants a 